Hello viewers, are you interested in learning? Now let us see what is learning. Learning is defined as any relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of practice and experience. There are some theories behind the learning process. They are behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism. Let me explain one by one. In behaviorism, new behaviors or changes in behaviors are acquired through associations between stimuli and response. Next in the cognitivism, learning occurs through internal processing of information and constructing our own knowledge of the world based on individual experiences is the constructivism. What is behavioristic approach to learning? This approach to learning is based on the idea that learners respond to stimuli in their environment. Reinforcement plays a vital role. It increases the likelihood of the learning behavior occurring on a consistent basis. Conditioning in behavioral psychology is a theory that the reaction to an object or event by a person or animal can be modified by learning or conditioning. The most well-known form of this is Pavlov's classical conditioning and Skinner built on it to produce operant conditioning. Operant conditioning and classical conditioning are the root of behaviorism. Classical conditioning is explained through Pavlov's dog's experiment. He first performed a minor operation on the dog. The dog was trained by ringing a big bell every time after it was served food. Soon the dog associated the sound of the bell with food that caused the reflex of salivating. The unconditioned stimulus is the object or event that originally produces the reflexive natural response. The response to this is called the unconditioned response. The neutral stimulus is a new stimulus that does not produce a response. Once the neutral stimulus has become associated with the unconditioned stimulus, it becomes a conditioned stimulus. The conditioned response is a response to the conditioned stimulus. Therefore, classical conditioning is a form of learning whereby a conditioned stimulus becomes associated with an unrelated unconditional stimulus in order to produce a behavioral response known as a conditioned response. Let us see some of the educational implications of classical conditioning. Reading, writing, spelling or habits are learnt more effectively through the process of conditioning. Theory of reward and punishment is also based on conditioning. Children know that they will be punished as a result of wrong actions and they will be rewarded as a result of good deeds. The teacher can utilize this conditioning method in the classroom for teaching languages and mathematics. To conclude, Good and bad habits can be developed in the child through inculcating conditioning. Proper habits can be developed by providing the education for positive behavior and values to the child. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.